Hello and welcome. My name is Paul and today's topic is the technical basics of our fern spin turning swiveling fitting. Today in the studio I welcome Nico. Nico is our expert for our fern spin fittings from the Spinline family. Nico, I have my first question right away. If I want to deal with this new turning swiveling fitting as a carpenter and say, it's a great function, there's something magical about how this fitting opens. What are the framework conditions? What do I have to deal with or what should I consider? First of all, you have to decide whether you want to plan a left or a right fern spin. The left one opens clockwise, the right one counterclockwise. Here we have just shown the right fitting set that opens counterclockwise and you have to plan accordingly whether you need an S, M or XL fitting and for this the bottom shelf size is decisive. That means, for example, a small wall furniture, maybe a bathroom furniture, that's more like a size S fitting. But we can also turn large pieces of furniture such as kitchen cabinets. That will be more the XL fitting. Yes, Nico, I think we have installed a handlebar on this model. You can see that very nicely here. Do I always need them or are there other options? There are other possibilities as well. You can use a push to open a handleless version, which is also installed here. That's just the way you know it. Push to open, handleless, it pops up a bit and then I can open my furniture front accordingly. Exactly, and here you can see quite nicely, when you open the fern spin, then the spring of the push to open system tightens again. In that case, I only need to close it here and the fitting relapses into the end position. And I don't have that typical one anymore that I have to press again to close the fern spin. Perfect. In our model, you can see the carcass side here. This is a so-called inset version. Is this also given or can I change it? No, that is not predetermined. So you can also let the front go through, so that you have a visually available variant at the front. Now I can create a completely new look with a twist from a closed front. An open shelf rack, can you tell us a bit more? So now you have access to both sides, you can access the cabinet from both sides. We have a fitting that installed at the bottom, we have to cover it accordingly here and a fitting that installed at the top, which we should also cover. In this case, we used our Cardro system, which is available in black and white. There is also an upright profile, which also ensures that the underbody is stiffly connected to the top and that we have a stable system. The advantage is that we can also design the profiles ourselves. For example, if you have a wooden front, then you like to make the profile up here from wood and the upright profile could also be made from a wooden profile, everything is possible. Is it also possible to put a fern spin directly next to it? Yes, of course, that's possible. So you can basically mirror the furniture, then you also have a piece of furniture next to it, where the front is there the spin furniture basically opens and here we need some free space. So the spin furniture is basically our rotating element, which is located in the body. With the fern spin carcass, I always talk about a standing solution, i.e. on pedestal feet or can I hang it on the wall? So there is the possibility to put the fern spin on base feet. Then you need a fifth foot in the middle, because the total weight of the rotating element pushes down and there in the middle I say concentrates and for that you need a fifth foot. You can also plan as furniture hanging on a wall, but you have to make sure that you stiffen the carcass at the bottom, that it may also lie flat, as in this case, or hang on the wall and work on wall hangers and an additional stiffener. Because when opening, basically all the force presses on the outer corner and it must not sag. One topic is always illumination, light. Is there anything planned? Glad you asked, we have a cable management system for that. So basically a housing that is screwed on. And the cable leads when opening and closing and there is a connection, where you could also connect LED lights. 
Okay Nico, thank you very much for the important information about our fern spin and my suggestion, we meet again for the assembly video. Yes, of course. We are happy to do that. Ciao.